Now, before I review Red Sparrow, I have to give a very special shout out to my boy, Film Reviewer 101. His name is Andy. We met at um, a Transformers 5 screen back in June. Like, um, he's a few years younger than I am, and his channel is rather similar to mine. You know, he reviews a lot of movies and does, like, you know, comedic, silly things like I do. And he made this really twisted but funny short film for our high school's music, um, excuse me, film festival. And yeah, like, he's helped me out a lot in the pa over the past few months. Like, he's even, like, asked people to subscribe to my channel through Reddit. And honestly, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have as many subscribers as I do now. Like, I, I wouldn't be as close to 500 subscribers as I am. So thank you so much, Film Reviewer 101. So yeah, chances are, like, if you are watching this video right now, you might be one of those people that he's, like, you know, asked to subscribe to me through Reddit. And you guys are awesome as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Like, we're pretty close to 500 subscribers. I got very special. I got, I got plans. Don't worry. And yeah, film reviewer, you're awesome, man. Keep up the good work. Keep up the awesome work. Keep seeing movies. Keep doing what you love. And yeah, you've been such a huge help. So without further ado, let's review Red Sparrow. <laughs> I had to take off my jacket because I mean it's early. Like, it's a first, it's the second day of March, and the weather out here was really nice today. But anyway, Red Sparrow is a new thriller starring Jennifer Lawrence and as well as Jeremy Irons and a few other cool people. As Jennifer Lawrence plays this Russian lady who becomes a Red Sparrow to help support her um sickly mother. As the Red Sparrows are like spies, they work over they work in, like in international territories and they're like they they're like assassins there's yeah they're spies they do these like really cool like you know tricky things and yeah it's basically her story and how like she became red sparrow what she needs to do to complete the job that she's on okay i'm a simple man i see jennifer lawrence in a movie trailer and i get really excited like jennifer lawrence she's like one of my favorite actresses and like i see her i th this is a perfect like a great role for her like you know this like this sexy like you know really sweet like kick-ass like you know assassin like i would just I, I just of course like how could i not be excited for a film like that guys so yeah after seeing red sparrow like um just seeing the trailer it looked really interesting like you know a great start to march like march i swear is like a new summer blockbuster month like it, it, you debate me all i want on that but, like you know last year we had a lot of big releases and this year we have more big releases and yeah um so after seeing Red Sparrow, I'm not going to lie, it didn't live up to all my expectations. Like, it wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. Like, the biggest problem that I have with Red Sparrow is its pacing. Like, the second half definitely picks up, but the first half was a little too slow for its own good. I actually found myself kind of falling asleep a little bit, which is not which is kind of my fault, because I woke up before 7 o'clock this morning for school, <laughs> but yeah, like, this film, like, the pacing is very, like, you know, it's choppy, and, like, the narrative, it's, like, it's a slow burner, you know, a little, you know, for a thriller, it shouldn't be, like, you know, super slow, but yeah, this film, it definitely takes its time, there's not such action as you might think there'd be, there, when there is action, though, the action is very entertaining, but this film was, like, a little more than two hours, if I had to guess, it felt a lot longer, I mean, but, that did not overall like destroy my experience of Red Sparrow because it, I still enjoy myself with this film mostly thanks to Jennifer Lawrence. Like again, she's this is a great role for her and like what I thought she was gonna be trailer is what she wound up being in this film. Like this, it's like this really like you know kick ass like sexy assassin. Like you know how could you not be happy with something like that? Like she she works very well with all the other characters in this film and like you. I want her to succeed. I feel bad for her parts. They're like, def this film tries to make you feel uncomfortable at some parts, and it definitely succeeds in doing so. Like, yeah, there are definitely play moments throughout this film where I was just like, oh no, oh no, they're going there. Oh, they just went there. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Yeah, there's plenty of those moments. And yeah, like, this film like kept me engaged thanks to her, of course. And just like, I was very interested in what direction they were going in. And, um,. And, yeah, like, I was just, like, I wanted to see, like, how the job would play out. And, um, and, like, it it ends kind of, like, on a bittersweet note. You know, I, for, of course, I can't go into that because, you know, spoilers. But all in all, like, Red Sparrow, like, it feels, like, a, it, it feels longer than it is. But, ultimately, like, that doesn't, that, that didn't ruin my experience. Thanks, you know, all, like, there's... There's intense moments, there's gripping moments, there's, of course, there's more calm moments, there's sexy moments, and there's even a few fine moments here and there, too. So, yeah, this is 
it's an interesting start to March. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to like the way this this month is going to play out. And I think that um, I really feel like Red Sparrow. It's again. Some people were dreading this film because, you know, the poor critical reception. Other people were just like, ooh, Jennifer Lawrence playing a Russian spy? Like, yes, sign, or, like, give me my money. Like, I, I guess I was on that bandwagon. And, yeah, I feel like I got my money's worth. That's, I I mean, I, I can f I can gladly say I had a good time with Red Sparrow. So, yeah, despite some problems, I will, like, you know, the slow, uneven storytelling, like, Red Sparrow... Definitely, like, has an, uh, like, offer, is a, 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 I can't speak, is a, is a very worthy, and is, is a worthy entry into Jennifer Lawrence's career, because, yeah, like, this, this film definitely succeeded in entertaining me, so for that, I'm gonna give Red Sparrow a 6 out of 10 stars. It's a passable film. Okay, serious question, what's your favorite Jennifer Lawrence performance? Lawrence, performance. Ah, I'm a poet, I didn't know it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to check out Film Reviewer. Yeah, he's been a huge help on my channel. And, um, yeah, you guys have an awesome night. Good night.